Hey folks, it's I'd say maybe an hour to sunset. Um, so it's still on a little early end here, but yeah, Scruffy has already kind of moved in the waiting position. So I saw saw him I think this morning on the sidewalk off the deck. I just caught a glimpse of him walking, you know, his tail and you know, his ears or something, walking through one of the railings. <clears throat> so um, I knew he was in the backyard. I, I don't know why he wasn't on the deck. Um, I was busy at lunch, so I didn't have time to feed him or try to um, do the cat bath. Um, this afternoon, I saw him sleeping on a different part of the deck. And basically, yeah, he's just been there kind of all afternoon. I actually went out there <clears throat> um, not long ago to, um, uh, I was different section of deck. It was far enough away where I wouldn't alarm him. And I think he saw me and um, he didn't care. And then he just went back to sleep for a while. And then eventually he got up and went somewhere. And I think he ended up here. So uh, rather than coming to me where you know, I was on the deck, yeah, he'd rather just get in a position waiting for tonight to dinner. So I thought I'd just film him waiting here for dinner. Anyway, um, I'm going to wait till our normal dinner time. So um, I'm going to end that, end it here and I'll see you later. Bye. Hey folks, it's dinner time and Scruffy disappeared. I don't know about this cat sometimes. So I'm a little bit on the later side of dinner, but I mean, not. it's nothing that we haven't done before. So yeah, I don't know, maybe he's just getting impatient. Seems to want dinner earlier and earlier. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. Um, because, yeah, the other night he ate at midnight and then he was lining up at the door early. <laughs> and then other days, yeah, he's been lining up early, but I haven't been feeding him earlier. So, I am, in fact, actually, we are, yeah, we are feeding a little bit earlier than when we first started. When we first started, it was maybe an hour or two later um, than it is now. And, uh, and <clears throat> with the sun going down and daylight savings time changes and stuff, we've been doing it actually a little bit earlier. Um, so I'm not sure what to do at this point. Um, I guess I'll just keep an eye at the door and see if he comes back. I assume he will. He was around all day. Um, so his normal patterns to show up. Um, so he might show up in another half hour, maybe. Um, and then if he doesn't show up within that window, it might be another three hours. And then, and then the other night, you know, he showed up at midnight. So <clears throat> I have no idea. <laughs> so anyway, um, I will. I guess film again when he shows up. I'll uh, see you then. Bye. Hey folks, it's been about 10 15 minutes. So Scruffy is finally back. So he kind of just sauntered in and then he checked the kennel or yeah, the carrier real quickly and then saw me and then he just sat on the mat. So I'm going to get his dinner ready and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I'm back. So I got his uh, tiki cat chicken and egg with a uh, kibble. So once again, probably nothing special. Probably won't do the cat bath. You know, I'm thinking about it. Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? Where'd you go? I saw you earlier, then you disappeared. Ready for some food? Gonna come out. Try not to hiss at me. Really? You're gonna hiss at me, huh? <clears throat> okay, well, maybe I'm not gonna give you the food immediately. So I'm gonna sit down in my normal spot. I'm gonna put the plate up there. I'm gonna sit down in the chair. 
And I didn't bring out a new water bowl because I forgot. But I think you probably still have water, so I'll change it after you leave. So I'm getting the glove on right now, one hand it. Since I've been acting so peculiar, I was thinking I might try the fell, fell away spray again, but I know it takes like 15 minutes, so it would scare you away. You came back sooner than I thought you would. So I was just about to get the fell away spray out, and then you came back. So you want some food? You want dinner? Yeah, you want dinner, huh? Okay. So you meowed. So we'll oblige. Okay. Pick up the brush. Okay. Ready? Okay. I'm gonna start brushing you. Yeah, you're messy again. So the weather report changed. So it looks like the sun might come out tomorrow and the rain will come the day after. So I might have a, another chance to bathe you. I don't know, maybe I should just wait for the rain. Maybe I'll bathe, take care of it. <laughs> and I won't have to worry about you making a fuss. He's kind of knotted here. Oops. I'm caught. Don't want to hurt you. I don't know, maybe I should just buy the foamless um, flea bath. So I just got the Raygor foamless, but yeah, I, if you have fleas, I don't know, it makes a difference. The flea one's more effective, or are they all the same? You know, they charge more for the flea one. Kind of hope they <clears throat> both kill fleas, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how Scruffy's going to react to the filmless stuff, so that's why I'm hesitant to do it because I don't think he's going to like it. Even though he seems pretty distracted eating, and I got the animal glove now, so if he strikes. Semi protect it depending on what he strikes at. So, this is where I would have preferred having the long 22 inch glove, but all I got is the 16 inch. That's because the seller made a mistake twice. <laughs> they kept sending me the wrong size. To their credit, you know, they tried to make it right. And in the end, they gave me a refund and let me keep the the gloves because I guess I, my guess is because they're in China and everything probably shipped from China it was probably more expensive to ship the glove back sh gloves back than just write it off so so I don't have any quarrel with them problem is yeah now there are shortages again and so for some yeah I don't know why animal gloves <laughs> spiked up but uh but I have noticed online the prices have gone up for not just theirs but other competitors as well. So yeah, I think there's some, some, I just I guess the lockdowns have just created shortages again. So yeah, by the way, I flipped the brush over.
So I'm kind of curious why he disappeared right before dinner. <laughs> because you know, he obviously wanted dinner by lining up early, and then he leaves. So I thought cats are supposed to have a good biological clock. And you know, you can tell just by the sun, you know. I, you know, I don't feed him before sunset, so. But on the other hand, if I gotta take off for some reason and I can't make dinner, I presume he knows enough to not wait around for me. So I guess it cuts both ways. Not that I have anywhere to go nowadays. <laughs> so I put a tiny bit of extra kibble in just because I over poured, poured it, so there's a little extra kibble in there. And then I actually, the, the white cat food, it's kind of dry. It's, it's shredded chicken basically, so there's not a lot, a lot of liquid, and I have to split the liquid when I. You know, he doesn't want to be rushed tonight. So I have to split the liquid uh, since I save, save. Or I don't use the whole can of cat food. And yeah, I didn't think there was enough liquid tonight, so I added a little bit extra water. Didn't seem to slow him down any. It's just a tiny bit of water, though. See, yeah, I worry about him throwing up. So I'm going to put the brush down for a second and pick up the ball and move it out of the plate. Because I think there might be a tiny strand of food underneath the ball. And yeah, there is. So move the golf ball, so... So yeah, you can see there's a little bit of food left if you want to. I got some chicken on his back. I guess I touched it with the glove. And it got stuck. So he walked away. Doesn't want to be pet tonight, I think. So yeah, honestly, I think you had to bathe him with the cat bath. I need different. I need a different type of food anyway. So I need, I need something that will take him longer to eat. So like one of those pates. Start looking online for cat food again, white cat food, and uh, yeah, so shortages are a problem again. So, um, so I've been checking Target and Walmart, 
Um, and basically the, the cheap stuff is like, you have to pick it up in store, you can't have it shipped. And yeah, they're sold out of all the cheaper stuff. And then the moment I get to shipping, so I, I, I find different foods for shipping and the, the cost goes up dramatically. And at that point, Costco starts looking more appealing, even though I have to buy a much bigger quantity. And then I have no idea what the quality of the cat food is at uh, Target or Walmart for the cheap stuff. It sounds like it, some of the stuff may not be actual like pure meat. It sounds like it's, I don't know what it is. It sounds like there's meat in it, but it sounds like they may have like added some sort of filler. So it has like, because they keep talking about texture. And so I guess they're imitating the texture of meat. So it's probably not full, full meat. It's some sort of weird process, possibly grain stuff. So they, uh, I don't know how good it is. For Scruffy here, I don't know. This is a feral cat. He's not supposed to be able to be picky, but the fact that I have to give him wet cat food now means he's picky. But, um, the fancy feast that I picked him up, you know, he seemed to like. I think those that was actually like real meat. So <laughs> probably I probably picked up uh, stuff that was a little too good. There was some, I think it was Nine Lives stuff I was looking at at the time, and it was in pouches, and it looked like it was almost dry cat food with a gravy that you added, or add water to create gravy or something like that. And so, I don't know what exactly it was, but I was thinking since he was having trouble with it, he wasn't accepting the dry cat food at that point. I figured I'd probably just be wasting my money buying that stuff. It's probably a, basically what I've been doing, like basically taking a dry cat food and adding water to it. And he doesn't seem to be that attracted to that anymore. I don't know, I should probably try it at some point. Or not that, but the, just plain old dry cat food, see if we'll eat it. Into it. But, I don't know, I think he probably refuse it and just regress. So now I gotta mix in the wet cat food and the dry cat food. And at least it at least it will eat the dry cat food as long as I mix it. So it's not completely gone to waste. And then it saves me some money since I don't have to buy as much wet cat food. So that's why the Costco stuff will last me a really long time because basically I'm just mixing in uh, a portion of the white cat food and, and supplementing it with all the dry cat food and basically means I can stretch out the white cat food for a really long time. Because I have like 50 something pounds of <laughs> dry cat food. <laughs> Are you need 50 pounds? I'm sure you'd like to. I still haven't tried the experiment where I just give him unlimited kibble and see if he'll eat, keep eating it or if he'll eventually stop. I could try that in one of the days where I give him a cat bath. <laughs> and here's unlimited kibble, keep eating while I bathe you. Yeah, I might have to do that actually. So get some pate, white cat food just enough to attract him and then yeah mix in tons and tons of kibble just to keep him at the bowl longer so you make it groomed brush no didn't think so Sure, grooms a lot of parts of his body that didn't touch the food. <laughs> so, I would 
think that, you know, I can understand grooming, you know, parts that, you know, were exposed to the food. But he's grooming everything. I kind of wonder how he does the back of his head. Because ironically, that part where he Oh yeah, that part of his fur is probably the best, the part that he can't groom. <laughs> So yeah, it was a pretty short dinner tonight. Mostly just filming you grooming yourself. Because you don't seem to want the brush. So with the brush. And I think he wants the brush. He doesn't want the brush anymore. And he's walking off. Well, he's done. He's grooming himself again. So for a second there, he seemed like the brush, and then, yeah, lost interest. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I'm brushing him wrong. Because he seems to like it sometimes, but I haven't figured out exactly you know, what he likes, or how he likes it, or where he likes it. I need to clean the brush again. There's a lot of hair on it. Yeah, maybe I'll do that after he leaves. I should get some gloves on and do it. <laughs> like uh, latex or uh, vinyl type of gloves. Hmm. He always worries me when he puts his head to the ground like that because I always associate that with vomiting. He's going back. Hey, nice, Scruffy. Love you, pet. No? Yes? Yes. So I'm having to really reach out. So I'm a little worried he's close to my leg. Okay, that's okay. So what more you might scratch my leg if he, if he gets angry. <laughs> Got jeans on, it's armor. But, uh, it may not be enough. Okay, so he's back for grooming. Hard to predict a cat. So I don't know why you scratched me there. So that's not good, Scruffy. Shouldn't scratch me. I don't know if I got that on film this time. I wasn't expecting him to scratch me then. He seemed to be just starting to get into it. But yeah, at least it was on my glove and not my 
leg. Yeah, he did make contact. He hit my finger. Got to be better about that, Scruffy. We're going to kick you. We're going to slug you. I don't understand this cat. So he scratches me, walks off, and chills. <laughs> Take off, or is he coming back? We need water. Yeah, you gotta be nice to me. But no one replaces your water bowl. I assume there's still water in there now, so yeah, water. Okay. Yeah, he turned around before he approached the bowl. Get the brush? Yes, he does. You are a very strange cat. And then he got scared. Yeah, I don't understand this cat. So he just seemed, for a second there, he seemed terrified as I wasn't even, I was just basically finishing the stroke and then basically presenting the brush again. I wasn't going in for him, just kind of presenting the brush and kind of waiting for him to come towards me to kind of guide me where to brush him, and then you just seem to get this terrified look and then turned off and ran. Okay, folks, I think that's it for tonight. Scruffy looks like he's had it. So I don't understand his behavior. <laughs> um, but I guess we'll have plenty of time to learn, so I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Hey folks, so I was cleaning off the brush and uh, I also was taking out the trash and uh, Scruffy came back. So he watched me clean the brush. And then I got up to take out the trash, he ran away. And then I came back. He was snooping around the deck, he ran away again, and then he decided to grab a bag of treats, sit down here, see if he'd come back, and so now here he is. Want some treats? So I haven't put the glove on yet. No treat? I don't know if he recognizes the treat bag. I'm going to toss him a treat. I think it fell through the crack. <laughs> Not good. That was pretty mean. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here's another another one. Oops, so that one fell off the carpet. So I'm gonna get the glove on. Yeah, he has really bad eyesight. There it is. So these are the temptations. Crunchy outside, soft inside. I actually don't think he likes them that much. I think he actually likes his normal dry cat food more than this. <laughs> See, he's looking at that other one I threw. Okay, I'm going to put down the phone for a second and try to get some more treats. <laughs> Okay, so I have three treats ready to go. And my question is, do I try to pick up the brush or do I try to hand feed him? I 
I'll try to hand feed him. Blue and treat. Yeah, he wants that other one. Yeah, there's no more. I think he just smells it. And maybe the old baby food that was on there. It's all dried up now, so it wouldn't be much good done. Another one. Pick up the brush. No, it doesn't get the brush. Yeah, maybe he wants it. Want the brush? Can I brush you? He wants the treat. Can I brush you? No. And he backed off quite a bit there. He didn't strike, which was good. Can I brush you? No. So I got one more treat. Okay, put that brush down. I'll grab the last treat for you. Put this one on the ground so I can pet him. Little brush him. Want that treat? I know, uh, it's scary because I picked up the brush. I don't think he wants it. It's like, no. No brush. I refuse to eat if you have that brush. It, you may call it temptations, but it's not tempting. <laughs> yeah, he really wants that other one. <laughs> so I think he's always crawling under the deck, so he'll eventually find it. Can I brush you? Thank you. Thank you for letting me brush you. I don't know what set him off there. His tongue, tongue was sticking out. I was doing it. Yeah. So you're gonna have to learn to trust me a little more, because I don't like it when you hiss at me. I think we're past three months. You still don't really trust me. You're kind of mean still. So can we be much further along by now? So I still think about giving up every now and then. So you're going to have to be nicer to me. And then if I move, you know, you can be all alone. New owners will probably lock you out of the yard. Or the renters, I don't know if they're going to sell or rent. I'm going to have to start looking for new, new places 
to move to. So at some point, I think I'm going to have to start booking some flights and traveling around the world. See if uh, any places are viable candidates. So I'm going to have to leave you. So I'm not going to be able to feed you. But if you're nice, maybe I'll set up one of those automatic feeders. Kind of expensive though. I think they're like a hundred bucks. It's a lot to spend for a feral cat that doesn't like me. Wow, why are you so skittish? So he might be hearing my neighbor. So I was hearing some rustling. I think on the other side of the fence. I think. I don't know, maybe it's another animal. But yeah, you're so skittish. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. So I'm going to put the brush down. Okay, no more brush. And quite frankly, I'm kind of cold and you're getting kind of nasty. I could give you more treats, but I already gave you a bunch, so... Yeah, I think I'm done for the night. Okay, Scruffy, I'm gonna go in. So usually I wait for you to leave and get bored, but I think tonight I'm gonna leave first. Okay, folks. Um, I think I'm gonna just end filming here. So thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.